Well, you know, Christine, it took LA Animal Services more than 24 hours to get back to me, but they confirmed that the truck driver transporting the livestock was cited for improperly securing his cargo. I mean, uh, cargo. They also said the steer changed ownership, that there is a new owner and not the man who's holding the steer here. If only this young steer could talk, what tales he might tell about his adventure on the 210 freeway Wednesday. His escape from the truck transporting him and his brethren to a Northern California feedlot led to a rodeo roundup, first with horsepower and a horse without power. There we go. We're, we're almost at the end. Impromptu wranglers briefly corralled him in this parking lot, but the brazen bovine kept his freedom and escaped capture multiple times. Oh, oh! Eventually, an ad hoc group from the neighborhood, along with LA Animal Services, roped and wrangled him, and now he's safe and solo in a stable. As much as I wanted to catch the steer, you also had to be careful as much for the animal as much as for oneself. Danny and his brother Rafael own a feed store in a home not far from where the steer wound up. They joined the chase, and now they own the steer. Once the animal was safe, he asked the truck driver corral. if he could buy him. And so he contacted the, the owner of the cow, the feedlot, uh, and he said, uh, hey, I have a gentleman that wants to buy the cow. The guys that help catch the cow, uh, they're here, they'll buy the cow. Um, and we negotiated him to a price, uh, and it was, uh, that was it. Better to sell than try to get the big boy back into the transport. The Ortegas promise the steer will not wind up as a main dish at a steakhouse. Eventually, he'll move from this property two doors down to commune with Betsy the cow, yeah, well, another yeah, animal the Ortegas the rescued. So it's like we own our own cow, yes. We have our own little uh, Betsy, you know. Uh, that we saved from going to a slaughterhouse. Soon, Betsy. Whiskey and Poncho will be joined by the wayward steer. I, know, I think Buck. I think Buck. I think it'd be a great name for him. You know, <laughs> all the bucking he was doing yesterday. That's you know. I think that'd be a great name for him. Aptly named indeed. Lasted him. So, so yeah, this, he's he's putting up. Yeah, he is not happy about this. Well, here's a little bit of the story that we did not include, and that is there was a bit of a tussle with the man who owns the property here, where the steer is, but now all things got settled. The sheriff's department has contacted him, and if he doesn't release the cow voluntarily, well, deputies will come here and make sure that the transfer is made to the Ortega brothers. Meanwhile, the story of this bovine might not be over yet. Apparently, songwriter Diane Warren is still interested in taking that steer and transferring him to live out his days with another rescued cow from Pico Rivera. Remember that one? Reporting live at Lakeview Terrace, I'm Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.